All right, welcome everybody. I was making waffles the other day and I noticed that you could take these pieces and kind of arrange them in different shapes. You could make kind of neat patterns with them. What are the different patterns you could make with this? So I tried my hand at it manually, got 17 different patterns that are unique. So so one thing about the uniqueness, this is a pattern, uh, but this one is not a unique pattern because it's just the same thing mirrored. The idea is to find unique patterns that aren't just this whole thing, you know, rotated 90 degrees. That's the same thing. And that's the same thing, and that's the same thing. So all those things are the same pattern, disregarding, you know, rotation and mirroring and stuff. So I came up with some, and then I wrote a little computer program to brute force it, and it found a bunch more that I didn't find because I wasn't thinking broadly enough. So then I had the computer program arrange them all and then I manually went through and and messed with them. So this is the result of that. There's actually 43 different patterns that you can get and here's what I mean by that. So all these are now rotating of course and you can see uh, it's a little hard to see with this stuff over here. But if you go over and look at these, you can see that this pattern repeats itself. It's just the same thing facing four different directions. Now it's facing this way. It's kind of like a bird, right? Now it's facing this way. Now it's facing this way. And even though the elements are rotating clockwise, the whole pattern rotates counterclockwise. It's like an aliasing thing. And then this one's the same, but this one, the whole pattern rotates clockwise, even though the elements are rotating clockwise. So it's an interesting facet that the... Uh, the pattern's rotation is not dependent on the element's rotation. This one, it's it's the opposite, and this one, it's the same direction. So these two, any of the four cardinal rotations, of course, there's only four. Uh, I've limited it to that. Are uh, are repeated. It's the same pattern. It's just this, the whole thing rotated. So that's kind of cool. That's uh, that's those patterns. Then we've got this set of four, and these four. You can see the vertical up and down. I've, I've done them in vertical sets. So it's like this set and this set. Uh, so this pattern, you can see it just rotates. So it's this pattern and then that pattern goes down here and that pattern goes up here and that pattern goes down here. So you can see it's the same thing. It's just uh, it's just swapping back and forth as they rotate. Um, and then this one swaps, you know, the same thing. This hourglass kind of shape swaps back and forth. Uh, and of course, the, the rotation is slightly different. It's in a different orientation, but that's not a, a significant alteration. We could you know, rotate these so that they lined up and you'd see that they're the same. If you can't see that they're the same, uh, this is not the video for you. <laughs> and same thing with this. So we've got here this kind of butterfly shape and then this butterfly shape, this butterfly shape, the same thing with this. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Maybe like a pine tree almost. It's almost like a pine tree shape. Anyway, so, and it just swaps back and forth. So those four uh, vertically, this set and this set swap back and forth with each other. Then we've got this set of three, which are, they swap back and forth, but they do it with a higher or a lower frequency, a higher period. So uh, let's see if we can find this one swaps to itself and then it swaps with the other one and then it swaps with itself. So same thing here. Now that pattern is going to come down here. That swaps with itself and then it goes back up here and swaps with itself. So these are mirrored versions of each other. Uh, this thing and then this pattern mirrored and then it goes down here and this pattern and this pattern mirrored. And it just has to do with the symmetry of the pattern. Uh, so you can see here is this like flower with kind of the, the bent petal and then the whole thing is mirrored and then it goes up here. The flower flower with the bent petal and mirrored. So that's kind of cool. These patterns, uh, they repeat but with a higher period and then they, they have the mirrored version themselves as you rotate each individual element. Then we get over to this set. And this set is a little bit harder to understand what's going on. So I have, uh, helpfully I hope, added a fourth row. This row is not um, not a unique set. So all of the all the ones on the black background are unique in that they only show up uh, one place in the initial set. In the, the intermediate set, like this one here, uh, this is the trivial case. This is where they're all pointing inward. The way that I've done it is that uh, this is element zero, it's zero, 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 and this is element two, 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 two. So I'll point outward. You can look at the the script. It's in the Blender file. Uh, this Blender file is all available. You can download it and play with it if you like. Uh, both the animated and the non-animated version and the non-animated one are uh, the orientation or the arrangement of them is a little bit different. Maybe I'll show you that in a minute. But uh, you can see this pattern here. 
uh, let's see, in the initial state, there we go. In the initial state, this pinwheel shape is the same pattern as this pinwheel shape. This is just mirrored. So uh, I don't consider this top row to be, those aren't, well, I, it's not that I don't consider them. They aren't unique in the base state. But interestingly, as you, uh, as you cycle through these, and I'll add another thing here so you can kind of see uh, what I'm talking about, this white line is going to move upward, and you'll see that this pattern, uh, this is the easiest one to see, I think, this, this pattern here with the, the circle with the X in it, it just moves up to this one, and then it moves up to this one, and then it moves up to this one. So just keep cycling through. It's a four cycle cycle. So uh, same thing with this, right? This little thing. So anyway, all of these patterns, it's not just the one highlighted by the white bar, but every pattern here, you can see the, this kind of um, inverted shape here. This also cycles up to here, and then up to here, and then up to here. But in the base state, uh, these gray ones on the top, they're not part of the unique set because they're just the same as this center set. So that center set in the gray, in this gray background here, is the set of patterns that are symmetrical with either with themselves like in these ones or uh with each other with the the top and bottom row so like all these here over here are symmetrical with themselves but on a uh, a period of two instead of a period of one rotates twice and it comes back to itself so all of these come back to themselves on a period of two so that's the, the set of ones that are symmetrical with themselves or, or with closely related to each other. Then this set is symmetrical uh, on a period of two. So you can see these, this one here is going to turn into this one up here as you go two over. So there you go. Now it's the circle with the cross. And then it kind of cycles back down. You can think of it as cycling, cycling back down. So now it's the pinwheels up here and now the pinwheels back in the center. Now the pinwheels on the edges. Now the pinwheels in the center. And it's the same thing with these, all of these here. Like this, um, this kind of shape is on the edges, and now it's in the center, and now it's on the edges, and now it's in the center again. So uh, that's that set. And finally, we have these, which are a little more complicated. The pattern is a little more complicated, uh, partially because I didn't bother to reset the mirroring on all of them. But if you look at this bottom one here, uh, you can see that it's kind of like a dog ear shape, and it's going to move up as these cycles. So here's the dog ear shape. It goes up. Here's the dog ear shape. And here's the dog ear shape up here. And it's the same thing with this one. This is kind of like a cat or whatever, right? And it goes up, and then goes up to the next one, and goes up to the next one. And uh, the, the weird thing about these are that because of the mirroring, uh, some of them move down instead of upward. So like this... Uh, this pattern here, if just as an example, it's a little bit harder to, to parse because it's difficult to, to see that this pattern is the same as this pattern, but there you go. This is the pattern now down here. So it's moving down. They're, they're like swapping with each other and then swapping down instead of swapping up. So anyway, that's kind of a, a, neat, a neat effect. Uh, but that's the last set of these. And uh, again, these are gonna be, this row and this row are are symmetric with a period of two because of course every two you know this one turns into this one and this one turns into this one and and so forth uh so that's the set of all the wedge shapes kind of like a pie wedge only there are four of them quadrant quadrant wedges i don't know what you're going to call them circular quadrant wedges uh that are unique in rotation and symmetry uh there's 43 of them and I was thinking about, I don't know, maybe making a, a game out of these or something where you have to like arrange pieces in, in a way that are, uh, are symmetrical. But uh, I thought it was fun, a fun little result and neat to see how these all transform into each other. And I have some thoughts too on, uh, on the way that they're symbolically related, but I'm gonna do that on my other channel. I'm gonna do a video on like the what I see is, is some of the spiritual implications of these things. There's some interesting spiritual uh, stuff going on. So that'll be my other channel on my Spooner Politics and Religion channel. But uh, I'll leave you with that for now. And like I said, links in the description for uh, the, the Blender file if you want to play with it and uh, see what you can do. And all the code is in there as well. That 
is that is it. Thanks.